Hello everyone, I'm Mr. I Hate Waterways, and let's continue playing as the second second Mexican Empire. So, last time we started our war, actually, two episodes ago, we started our war against the Chichen Itza, or the, I like to call them just the chickens. Um, last time, I complained a lot about waterways, and I'm going to try to not complain as much this time. But anyways, we're going to continue trying to push, 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 push into the enemies as we are trying to get more and more electricity. We currently are at 500 some, and yes, I know, you need as much electricity as humanly possible, or even like a robot, so we can core all these states, because we need 640 and we could always use more manpower. But anyways, I have told my soldiers to just go ham right now, because we have lowered the amount of resources that we give to the market, I forgot to start the timer on my stopwatch to make sure I don't go over too much time, which I will, of course, like normal, in this playthrough. Um, regarding that, yeah, we're just going to keep trying to attack, do well, defend our lands from naval invasions, and have a good time overall. Let's see, you guys are over here. Yeah, just go ahead and do a general push. Okay, so, for this entire war, I'm planning on probably losing around 10,000 soldiers max. So I, I feel okay about that. If we lose, like, 10,000, that will lose up to probably 50,000 at minimum. So, I think we'll be okay. I mean, it's better to not take any casualties, but, you know, whatever. Also, I might have to fade this in, this gameplay, and this fade it out, because Kaisar is going to lose, probably. But they're losing extremely slowly, so I'm not exactly sure if the game will crash or not. It probably will, honestly, once Kaisar capitulates, because they are currently... A lot of casualties, tons of casualties. They're only 45% of the way there. For the NCR and her allies to take out Kaiser, they had to pretty much take out all of where my mouse is, so it's going to take a long time for them to capitulate, but if the game crashes, I just want to let you know that that will probably happen. Um, where are you guys? Oh, you're all mostly down in the south, which is okay. Advanced recycling, more energy cell per gain. Very nice. Very nice. Very, very good. We're doing that very well. Uh, energy cell capacity, sure, why not? It's taking a quite a while to get through this, which is fine. It's, it's just going to take some time for us to pummel our, pummel our way through the enemy divisions, so that'll be good. You are doing okay. Over here, there being a bunch of jerks again. No, no, no. No, no, no. Really focus on the eastern side of this country for right Wow. I guess I told you to come all this way. That might have been a bit extreme of me to say. Uh, but whatever. Cool. Uh, actually send you two this way and attack through the land. Yeah, if we could just, like, mop up the east, the west will just fall apart, which would be great. Um, also, oh, got two more infantry divisions. Very nice. The chickens, they have, like, earlier they had, like, over a thousand manpower, but now they're down back down to 800. I'm not sure what's going on. They always seem to be getting more and more manpower, or they're not losing any, but they're not, like, conscripting any more. They're not increasing their... Uh, conscription levels. So I'm not sure how they're getting more and more manpower. As you just saw, they just had another 1,000. So maybe they're taking soldiers out and putting new soldiers in or something. I'm not really entirely sure. So I do want to warn you that I don't know what's going on with these chicken people, but it's something not good. Something very not good. Looks like the infantry are doing a great job, though. Like a really, really good job. You guys are up here. Honestly, I could probably just put you on one major line at the current moment that will probably eh that's kind of actually worse because i forgot about this area but whatever go ahead and take these guys out come across the river here if you can just go ahead and do that if, if possible and try to break your way down here also i do have a cup of coffee in front of me but i'll sip on that as soon as it starts cooling down a little bit more very good also yeah just like i think last time i, was, I showed you guys Ships, I got 55. They have five ships and one task force, and they have another 50 with like 10 battle cruisers and another. So, because I did tab over to the chicken country here at the end of last episode off screen. So, I just wanted to see what their resources were like and how they were holding up, we'll say. And they're holding up okay. Not great, they're holding up okay. Obviously, we've been destroying as many divisions as possible, just trying to gut this enemy as hard as possible. Uh, obviously, oh yeah. We do need more, a lot more robots, which is not a good thing for us, but I've wasted a lot of time on Pioneer Kits, so we should have plenty enough resources now so that we can do that. Uh, do that if you need to as well. That'll be fine. Just keep making stuff. We'll be fine, hopefully, in the end. 
and we have the Chrome Commandos just in time for a double bonus research for robotics. But you know what? With Talox passing, his rightful heir will, act will now activate his robot armies, and we'll get another thousand pieces of machinery. Ooh, look at this encirclement. Very nice. Very, very nice. This is very disgusting. It's pretty normal, though. Uh, go and take that tile. Very good. Yeah, these guys just kind of like to squirt their way over here, and I don't really like it like that. Um, you guys, this is probably a bad idea, but go ham. See what happens with the infantry if they go ham. Obviously, we'll take more losses, but at this point, I think it's kind of worth it. I think it'd be worth it doing that. You guys are moving around, which is good. Just keep pushing, because this is the biggest enemy that we have, really. Ooh, offensive armaments, more ground attack. Very nice. Oh, it's for the planes. Um, I want to get to a jet attack airplane, so let's do this next. But yeah, after we take out the chickens at Honduras, it's pretty much GG. I mean, yeah, we'll take out the NCR, but they're they're getting pretty weak with all the losses that they're taking trying to kill off Kaiser. And then they still won't even have the lands because the Flagstaff Republic or whatever it is that comes about because they won the war. So I'm not feeling too bad about it. Oh, look at this. This is a mess. Ezra, Ezra, Ezra. Um, you could probably actually come over here, maybe. And do something like that. Unless we come over here. Just finish this area up. That would just be the best thing to do. So, guys, please go ahead and do it. Go and go that way. Yeah. This way we can put all these extra soldiers on the front. Nice, good stuff, good stuff. Infantry are doing a great job. Make sure they don't go too ham. Be actually be careful. Be careful in what you do right now. Because I don't want to lose any more soldiers, really. Good. Good. You four can be right here, and you guys can do this. And do that, and do that, and do that. Yeah, that'd be great. Awesome. Little last tile here. And it has been taken. Good stuff, guys. Good, jo good job. All right, Miguel, you did a great job. So, I guess you guys can come over here and help destroy this part too. That'll be fine. That'll be more than fine. All right. Uh, Pre-war infantry get more soft attack. Good. And then we'll get even point one entrenchment. Um. Okay. Uh, let's see, air bases. There's not a lot down here, so we're going to build some of that. As you can tell, I'm building a lot of uh, electricity plants, so that's going to come very much in handy. Uh, build some of that. That would be helpful as well. Uh, in the end, build up just a bunch of infrastructure as well. This will all be ours one day, so just make sure that everything will be taken care of accordingly. Anything up north? Ah, uh, pretty much got it. No worries, no worries. Very good. Robots are doing a great job. We've lost probably... Oh, getting closer to 5,000. The cow trees have definitely not piled us up as much anymore. Oh, you guys go right on ahead. Yeah. Give me happy, y'all. That'd be good. Keep these guys stationary. You, you won't be able to win against 13 divisions, but... At least for the time being, keep them stationary. Basically, power plants. Very good. Very, very good. Good, good, good. Yeah, um, you guys, on second thought, come down here. Alcapulco. Very nice. Can I build even better power stations? No, no, does it auto-upgrade? It might auto-upgrade, actually, which is very nice. So now we have 557 electricity. Oh, Adobe housing, nice. Energy cell capacity goes up. And I guess we'll do some tribal huts. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Killing off all these chickens. Yes, 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 yes. Um, you guys come down here. That'd be good. No one navally invaded us yet again. Um, yeah, not bad. Nathan Nathaniel Law. Law. Hello there. Good. Losses. About almost 5,000. Almost 46,000. Okay, so we need to definitely push from this side as well. Go there, you guys come here, you guys give a little bit of support, you guys just do that. You come down there, you come this way, because these guys will have no more. If I can take the port, then they're done. These guys will all die, which will be great for us, not for the chickens. Nope, that coffee is way too hot still. Oh yeah, that's not good. There you go, that should help out a little bit. 
Take the port. And then they will be gone. Oh, and these guys are split up. And, of course, these guys are doing something not desirable. Oh, you guys are still over there doing nothing. Ah, you guys actually took quite a few hits. But go ahead and move when you can. Oh, look at that energy cell capacity. Oh, my goodness. Come on, guys. There you go, my friends. There you go. Now they're going to not be able to do really much of anything. Good. Augustus. No. Any upgrades? Any upgrades? No. All right. All right. So be it. Uh, Coast Guards, we're doing okay. 13. We need 25, I think, at least. Oh, we definitely need more. Breakthrough's better. Oh. Sentry Bot Mark II. Compared to the Robo Brain, because are, these are both heavies. So, I think they're both heavies. Combat and... It, oh, they're advanced. Robo Brains are advanced. But regarding these, Robo Brains have better breakthrough. Less soft attack, same air attack, same... Oh, this is definitely less armor. I don't like that. I definitely want these boys here. More reliable. Uh, these are more expensive to produce. Same cell usage. This has actually more piercing. That's interesting. It's definitely faster. More heart attack. Less hardness itself, but more defense. Interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and get some of these. Let's start with that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is going to be disgusting. Let's go ahead. Yeah, they could probably pierce us, and they're causing probably quite a bit of damage to us. But that's okay. Especially if they can't react to us. Beautiful. Beautiful. And, oh, four divisions over there. There's probably like eight over divisions. Oh, never mind, they're gone. Crush them. Oh, my goodness. All right. Cool. And we just got another thousand units of Mr. Gutsies. But then, arming of the Emperor. Our robots are infinite. They will help us build an empire of steel and love. I love the empire of steel and love. You know what we're going to do? We're going to condition or put everyone over here. You can also come over there. Oh, well, maybe not, actually. Mm, concerning this, you guys make your way down here. And then you guys make your way over here. That way we have more than enough soldiers on each and every front. Go ahead and get to where you need to be. That'll be great. Resources. Getting close to 600. Very good. Very good. I might actually go, eventually go to, back up to export focus, but definitely not anytime soon. Definitely doing better on this. Plans are doing well. I feel confident in my... Some of my guys' abilities that they might be able to afford a few more planes with just by looking at the cell, energy cell usage. Even though these 100 air wings that I'm making are probably just a little bit too much for everyone here. But that's okay. I'll build another air base here or there. There you go. Keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. Make sure you defend every place exceptionally well. And we're building up air bases. Eh, build them up down here. Eh, build up over there as well. A little bit, not too much, I guess. Awesome. And the free fighters are still trying to kill off this cartel, which is taking forever. Just kind of like up here as well. Also, New Canaan got really big. Kind of, well, not really big, but bigger. Really awkward. Washington Brotherhood isn't doing very much either. Alright, our soldiers are along the border. Resting up, making sure that we have enough robots for everybody. Well, wow, 15 a day, that's not bad. And that the next push will probably, hopefully, destroy any part of the army that... Well, okay, ch the chickens already lost most of their army. But they're getting more manpower somehow, because they didn't raise conscription levels. And they only have results of last year's harvest, so... Not really sure what's going on with that, but whatever. But whatever. Uh, organization focus, that'd be good. Logistics, ace generation chance, artillery. Eh, I think I'd do organization probably for the most part. Fortification, in infrastructure, and eh, let's get some of this. Ah, yes, very good. You guys are still trying to get up to the line. No, you're not. Is it raining outside? No. But it might soon, wherever I live here. So, uh, go ahead and do what you need to do, guys. Put them out of their misery. Because they are quite a miserable people. Very nice. 40 divisions left. That's not too bad. If I send out any ships, they're probably all going to get destroyed. 
Ah, but let's see. We got three task forces. Not bad. Not bad. All of you guys, I want you to do convoy raiding. Let's see what happens. Ah, I love coffee. Hmm, not really much around here. But what if we were to cut off portions here? Hmm, let's add in... Oh, that was not good. Can I add in this? Oh, I need to actually select you. Yes, I can. Tribal huts. Very nice. So we're done with that. Nice, good. We're already done with engineering stuff, I believe. Which is awesome. We can't really do with anything with reward technologies. But let's go back to robotics. Let's get an iRobot. Ooh, baby. Faster and more reliable. Now, with so much e fuel cells, I mean, three days until we have max capacity. I mean, this is really good. Um, yeah, not bad, not bad. But who are we going to go after, after this one? War. That's a very good question to ask, actually. What are we going to do? Honestly, after this war, I'll probably go to war with the Viceroy. Viceroyalty, I mean. And then we'll probably kill off both these guys. Maybe we'll go after La Grande Yas or Argenta de Sol. Because I'm not going to get to war against Kaiser. What's going on up here? Are they trying to... Are they trying to go around? Are they, like, deploying, like, convoys to go around the tip and then go around close to what was New Orleans, close to uh, Southeast Texas, to South Texas, to Mexico? Like... Are they pulling one of those thingies? Ah, oh, look at that entrenchment. So much gain. So much gain. Um, this is all ahead of time. Um, I don't think this will help me at all. But let's do it anyways. And support equipment. Anything else here? No, we already did that. Uh, we did our frag grenades. We already did that. We already did everything that we really are using. Haven't done anything for tanks, which is fine. Let's get an Assaultron. Oh, this is also a heavy robot. Combat robot, bipedal robot. Oh, speed, reliability. I swear to God, I can hear like rain outside, but it's not raining. I'm going crazy, I think. Um, not bad. I guess there's probably not going to be too many convoys in this waterway. So, hmm. I suppose you could patrol. I don't think they, the enemies really have any real reason for them to uh, like do anything. Wait, are you guys... Oh, you guys are repairing. Okay, that's fine. That's fine with me. So, yeah, I think the enemies are pretty much defeated. We've lost almost 5,000. Pretty much 5,000. They've lost 53,000. Um, frankly, just go a little bit more ham. And let's start beginning... Start thinking about... Oh, that's a lot of divisions they have over here. Um, Infantry-wise, go ahead. Just take them on out. So, let's take a quick look at the Vice Royalty. I wish it was a way for me to integrate them, like, it would be a more peaceful way, because they could be like my vassal. I wish they would be, be like my vassal after whoever wins the wars between the Tlaloc's sons. I wish that there was a way to vassalize the Vice Royalty. I think that would be really cool. Maybe not under Zapata, because that would make sense, or even Moctezuma, so I guess Maximilian would be the best case, but that's okay. Anyways... We're almost done with our own focus here, so let's go with our robotic helpers, because we're still doing stuff with robotics. Inspired by the charisma of the Emperor, more ro robots will join us. Oh, perhaps we just reactivated them. Either way, it's basically the same thing, you know, reactivate, or they bow down to us. Basically the same thing. we got a little bit of power armor here, too. Stripped PA. Oh my goodness, do they have stripper power armor in this universe? I'm sure they do. Maybe. Oh, it's a wasteland. But I know that's not what it means, but whatever. Very good. So... Um, I'm not really concerned about this war anymore, really. I mean, yeah, casualties aren't great, stuff like that, yada yada yada. 53,000 casualties, how many divisions do they have left? I'm sure they have like 35 at least. 38, yeah. But really, not bad. Infrastructure really, really sucks. But what you gonna do about that? You know? Go ahead and start telling these guys to move in. Cut these guys off. Yeah. That'll probably be for the best, you guys. Sentry bot Mark II's. Now let's get... Actually, I'm going to wait for more robot buffs. Because we can still do more plane stuff. <gasps> jet attack plane. Awesome. Yeah. Jet attack planes. And we can add some Sentry bot Mark doses. Actually, I need to do some more uh, naval research stuff. 
Oh, we have a small own circlement there. There are only three divisions, but uh Well, there was three divisions. Yeah, there's still three divisions over there, and never mind. So yeah, the vice of royalty. Golden home. Yamp declared one Yunta. They got quite a bit of manpower and quite a few divisions. Interesting. But do they have a lot of uh piercing maybe? Looks like they got some fire Oh they do. They definitely have some uh anti tank, so that's not really good for us at all. But that's okay. We'll figure out a way to kill them off. Yeah, let's take a quick look. So, Coast Guards. You d I'm going to need so many Coast Guards to guard all my ports, just in case people want to get a little frisky with my uh, coasts, my shores, my new shores. Nope, and it looks like we have done very, very well. Alright, research. How has it already almost been 20 minutes? It's already past 20 minutes because I started the thing late. Ah, oh, this is two years... Ah, it's only 250 days ahead. Whatever. Alright, very nice. Very nice. Robatos. Um... Yeah, you might as well come down here. We gotta kill off Honduras anyway, so... No worries about that, my friends. When you get down there, you get down there. Let's see, in terms of divisions, not bad. Imperial Guards, it's a good mix. Oh, it's quite a bit of hardness, actually. 63%. 46 armor after we got those better sentry bots. That's nice. Infantry, the Guardia divisions. Pretty good defense. Pretty good soft attack, too. That's a lot of HP. Almost 300. That's nice. Very nice. Light robots. Thank you very much. Put them on Ezra's. Mm, can't, well, oh, we weren't winning there for a while, but now we kind of are. Nice. Yep, we hit 5,000 losses. Whatever. Um, we can't find too much around here. Convoy raiding? There's really no point to do convoy raiding. Honestly, it's just a matter of time before we actually win this, so... Um, Alright, yeah, you guys are doing... Alright, just keep making your way downtown. Come on down here. Come on, guys, please. I know the game is... Not the fastest mod now, but whatever. Hmm, Dura Frame Ibot. Interesting. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna wait to do more of this just because uh, I want those research bonuses. Because we can do other stuff here too. Damage. I love damage. Ooh. Mr. Gutsy's become Dura Frame Ibots. Very nice. Um, they're all on radical attacks. It's just a matter of time, so. Uh, how's this war going between the Free Fighters and the other cartel? Oh, there it is. 49,000 versus 29,000. Interesting. So they've lost roughly double. Free Fighters have our robotic helpers. Very good. Next up will be more robots. And the description for Tlaloc Kid Robots 4 is Tlaloc Kids Robots 4 description or desk. Awesome. I love that description so much. But, uh, yeah. El Bandido Sangriento. Alright, a little bit of manpower, 44 divisions. And the Free Fighters have about double, maybe a little less than double the divisions, and a lot of manpower. Oh! La Tres Mascaras. Interesting. Yeah, even if we don't win every battle, I mean, they still are losing soldiers, and it's kind of fine with me. Even though they're not. Oh, okay. Now I can say they actually went with minimal exemptions when they raised their conscription level, so. Very good, very good. Um, th we're missing something here. You're up here. You know, what? I'm going to send you this way. Why don't you go that way? You're down here. I want you to focus on this area, like that. Uh, be a little bit more careful. But you guys, you guys focus right here. Help spread out some of the bad infrastructure areas. Uh, go ahead and do that. Infantry are just doing more than fine by themselves over there. Do that. Give you three seconds. Three, two, good enough. Recoil compensation. More damage. Very nice. Uh, if we get to advanced Gary stuff, point laser defense, rotary cannons. That sounds like a lot of fun. Um, naval ballista, naval scorpion, catapult. Oh my gosh. Ooh, armor. I, yeah, I want a lot of armor on my guys. Scouts. Receive critical hits. Huh. Well, let's go with this for now. 
Coach guns. Better anti-air, even though that's probably a waste of time. But whatever. Hmm, tasty. Probably not good for my teeth, though. Recon kit. Oh, strip power armor. Yeah, we might as well look up some strip power armor. Hmm, are you guys moving or not? You guys should probably move. Oh, we got encircled. Uh, hold on, Mr. Robobato guy. I'm gonna make sure. Oh, you might lose. Uh, actually, for you guys, come down here. Yeah, you gotta bust through here. Or maybe not. Or we'll lose a robot division. Actually, we're gonna lose a robot division, first of all. Wow. Um, that's not good. I actually lost a robot division. Because the infrastructure here is so bad. So bad. Go ahead and redo this. I need these guys killed. Like, come on, guys. Let's go. Vamanos! Vamanos, my boys. I wish there was a way you could tell, like, your divisions just to ignore. Like, if there's, like, gonna be some attrition that they take. Like, I don't care if you take attrition. Just win the battle. Like, that's the main goal. Ah, Rob Robco Assaultron. Very nice. And then we'll get some more hard attack and soft attack as well. Can't win here. Very kind of weird. They can pierce us, though. That's a problem. Yeah, that's a problem with using, using robots. The robots, uh, go ahead and hold. Yeah, it's probably better if you hold and do that. How much closer? And before I start talking about robots. Yeah, we're going to end this episode when the chickens die. Because it's just, we got to move on past this, guys. Um, yeah, go ahead, guys. Just go ahead and just take the capital. This is all just merely a distraction. Oh, these actually, these guys actually won't be able to get any resources in, and I love that. No matter how hard I hold down the play button or the speed up button, it's not going to go any faster. Mm. God, love that coffee. Um, let's see. Do I want more immigrants? Some I mean, immigrants are okay. Industry. Hmm. Industrial concerns. We're pretty much done with that. Uh, what's this? Support unit research speed. We're pretty much done with that too. We're done with a lot of things. Hmm, we can do more ship stuff though. Nah, no, no debuffs on any ships, please. Research speed. Max range, no. Um, let's go with Petro Chico just because we've been using Petro Chico so much. Ah, oh, look at that electricity. Very nice. Ooh, another encirclement. Jet attack plane. Yes, daddy. And advanced power systems next. That'd be great. Yes. All right. Um, ooh, can we? No, we already did that. Can we? Oh, Gloria. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah, Gloria is really good to get because you get all the uh, the manpower because that's a lot of manpower right there. Um, is there anywhere else? Eagle Pass. Oh my gosh, that's so much electricity. We only have 728. Nice. Um, uh, actually, you guys come up here, and then come to there, and then come to there. That would be good. Like, just go straight to the capital. Like, I need the capital. All this is just a distraction. Yeah, good, good, good. Cut these guys off. Take the other half, take that as well. Take half of you and come down there. Ah, very nice. Imperial, mechanized core. Maximilian's mistake last time was not having enough of a mechanized army, and perhaps being a foreign puppet. But, you know, mostly the lack of mechanized forces. Because I do... I take that into consideration so much already. Be a little bit more careful with what you're doing. Yeah. Oh, if we lose up to 10,000, I'll be I'll be satisfied with that. They're up to 60.4 thousand, so I'm not feeling too bad about this. Um, regarding this, just go ahead and take that. Teach him a lesson. You know. Just robot things. Oh, hello there. Yeah, definitely take this province if you can. Let this guy stall this guy out first. If we take that, that'd be great. Oh, we got a little bit... Not really encircled there. No, not really. Is anyone taking this? Come on, guys. Good, we took this. I need this tile. Or just cut these guys off. Or really, just take the capital. That's really the thing here. We really need one division to do that. So, we'll do that. Lots of losses. Come on, guys. Come on. Ooh. See what that de Carmen, Del Carmen. Very nice. 
We're getting closer and closer. I don't even need Honduras because they'll capitulate if we capitulate the chickens. So that'll be nice. But I'm really kind of surprised. Um, well, uh oh. Downfall.190.c. This doesn't look good. I'm really surprised that Kaiser hasn't given up yet, but um, they might give up soon. Woo! Sorry. Ooh, I had to sneeze. Mm, that might have been too loud for you. So I apologize if that was too loud for your ears. Ooh. Can't always time when the sneeze will come. Sometimes it just comes out. Heavy machine guns. Twin mounted heavy machine guns. And, no, that's more anti air. Naval ram. Uh, what do I want? Oh, and I hear Binky outside my room again, like yesterday, wanting to come and join me. He's a very special fellow, which I will probably show you if I when I hit a thousand subs someday. But anyways, come on, guys, you got this. Oh, we actually took chick chin, the chicken. It's a uh, capital. Nice, good. That didn't really help us though. Too much. Ninety-two percent of the way there. I'm sorry, Bink. You're not going to be part of this episode too much, just because we're pretty much almost out of time. And yeah. One of the reasons why he likes to barge in my room, and I'm talking about Binky here, is because he doesn't really have anyone else to be around with. You know? Oh, there we go. But just like Binky, everyone needs some love in life. But anyways, oh, we finished off the Chichen Itza. We did, uh, did it all by ourselves. It took forever. Oh, I guess we're still at war with uh, Honduras. Satellite them. You know what? I might... Let's go ahead and satellite them for now. Since I can't annex them, I might as well satellite them, and then I can annex them... In the future, which will be a lot of fun. That'll be a lot of fun, but yeah, we did it, guys. Look at that. Second, second Mexican Empire. That's awesome. Uh, next time, we will probably see Kaiser get defeated. Um, we're going to definitely try to mop up the rest of Mexico and then figure out if that'll be the end of this campaign or whether we continue to push for somewhat historical 1800s Mexico, including like Colorado, all of California, and basically what Mexico would look like in Victoria 2 if you're playing HPM. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, check out Discord. I have a Discord link in the bottom. Say hello to me on Discord. And yes, I will see you tomorrow, and I hope you all have a great day.